Uh, ain't that adorable? That's right! It's crossing! <laughs> the one nice thing, oh, the one nice thing about a puppet is he, you can disembody his voice. So even though Cratchy is many miles away from here, he can talk to us, right? That's right, Dave. It was so fun yesterday hanging out with Betty. We had a real good time. Yeah, yeah, and checking out Crossy's Cafe Cafe. That was great. All right, Cratchy, that's great. Now, what we promised you, some letters. Sally Jean TSM, a.k.a. Barbie. I don't drink, but it would take me more than a few brewskis to watch the Dirty Room Live stuff. I guess that's with uh, Dan Bell and his cohorts there. You know, I like Dan Bell. I've always liked Dan Bell. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. Another Dirty Room. They're funny. I mean, I don't know. He's done about 25 episodes of them. They used to be fairly well-edited pieces. Now he's doing the live streams where people throw money at him while he's doing it. And I get that. And it's probably, you know, he's got thousands of subs, many thousands of subs. And he gets well over a 1,000 concurrent viewers of his vids. And he's getting quite a lot of money every time he does one of these live streams. They've, people just want to get mentioned, you know, and they'll throw him 50 bucks just for a mention. You know, uh, hey, 50 bucks just to get Dan Bell to say, hi, Steve. Thank you. Hey, Beantown writes, why did Dave point down to his crotch when he talked about that guy having some painful issues? Did that guy get surgery because... <laughs> Et cetera, et cetera. Hey, one of the things you have to watch out for on YouTube is talking about someone's health issues, okay? I learned that a while ago. The problem is with YouTube that people are not the ones who flag videos. Sometimes bots do, and bots don't understand things like people do. There are times when a person gets on their YouTube channel and talks about their health issues, specifically, okay? And then you repeat that in your video, somebody else's video, and you say, oh, Joe Schmo talked about his whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, you're not supposed to, according to YouTube's bullying rules, talk about someone else's health issues. The problem is that when, th when somebody else talks about their health issues and you talk about them, those bots don't understand that and you can get your channel in trouble or your particular video in trouble for that. So I'm always wary, you know, if I'm screen grabbing and somebody's talking and they're saying it with their own mouth, then it's fine. But if I'm repeating it, even though they talked about it, and I've had that happen to me, people have tried to strike my videos because I talk about health issues of somebody else, which is a no-no, even though I say that person in just their, in their previous video talked all about it. So that's why you gotta be super careful about that, okay? Wonder if we can find some snakes. Are there any snakes down here? I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the sir oh wow. <laughs> Annie McNally wants to know if Crotchy the puppet. It's Crotchy the puppet, okay? T-H-E in big capital letters. Because uh, he's the puppet. He's not just a puppet. Anyways, Cratchy up to date with his vaccines. Be sure to check him for uh, ticks after his outdoor adventures. That's right. Those ticks, yeah, they love to suck the foam out of him. Oh, Jean on the road has a serious problem. She says something is happening to her ability to show empathy. It has calloused, it is, it has calloused over. Um, I have seen so many, oh, her empathy has been calloused over, okay. I have seen so many beggars with so many sad stories asking for money that I just don't care anymore. You know, I, and it's very true, you know, you go to a big city and you walk down a street and you see homeless people and you see people panhandling and whatever and you give a couple of bucks here and there and then you see more and you see more and you see more and you realize you can't do it on your own. You can't solve their problems, you know? And it is true on YouTube. You just go from channel to channel to channel. And you say, I need this, and I need this, and my generator isn't working, and my tire went flat, and my transmission is leaking, and my... Man, it's like... You know, and you may want to help somebody out, and then you watch another video, and somebody else has got a problem, and somebody else has got a problem, and somebody else has got a problem. You know, I don't mean to sound like an old, grizzled man, but... You know, part of living on the road, I think, is learning how to deal with all your problems and learning the self-sufficiency and learning how to have some savings and, and having some responsibility that, you know, you should take care of your problems and not want everybody who's watching you to 
cough up when every time you have a problem. Oh, I don't need to save any money. I'll just put this on my uh, Patreon channel and someone will, someone will come and pay for it. You know, that does happen a lot on YouTube, but at the same time, you know, um, I don't know, maybe self teaching some of these people a little self-sufficiently, sufficiency is a good thing. And that's coming from a guy who sleeps on people's couches. <laughs> I don't know, man. No, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Chugalug Doug uh, keeps telling us that he needs money. Uh, donate, internet family, I need your help now more than ever. Well, Chugalug, Put your link in the, put your PayPal link in the description there. We'll uh, get you some money for whatever it is you need. Somebody wants to know why I no longer cover a certain former nomad. Uh, what's the reason? You know, I'll tell you something. Um, there are a number of people out there who I just think their channels are not that interesting anymore, at least from a nomadic perspective. And I just, you know, and I, you know, I start, I add people to the list and I take people off the list all the time. And I drop people from the channel because I just find their channels are boring or they're just not of interest to me anymore. And this particular person isn't traveling anymore. And this particular person did ask me to stop covering them. I guess because, you know, they did not like what was popping up in the comments. And I just put it all together and said, fine, that's okay. There are lots of other people to cover. And, uh, and you know, and that want to be covered. And that enjoy the comments, plus good or bad. And so, you know, there's lots of other fish in the sea. So that's pretty much it. I am always adding and subtracting people to the list of people that I cover. Um, people will make recommendations to me of channels I should cover. I will subscribe to them. I may watch them a couple weeks or months and get bored with them real quick and unsubscribe. And you don't hear me talking about them. There are other YouTubers that I have talked about a lot in the past. I, I will either just kind of stop talking about them that much or maybe eventually altogether. That's just a normal course of the way things work here at the Camo Dave Critical Channel. Uh, we were joking a while back, um, people were calling my channel Zero Effort Production because, you know, I just, I, I try to shoot a video several times a day and I don't spend a lot of time editing and I just use this old squeaky cam. But I do get the content out fast. Um, and now we're talking about how more and more people are relying on live streams to do their shows. It's like Dan Bell. How Dan Bell, instead of doing an edited video now that might take a couple days to put together, he's now doing live streams. And live streams, you know, hey, if you just turn on the live stream, you, you walk through the, the dirty room. And the nice thing about the live stream is the super chat. YouTube lets people throw money at you directly. So you're not just relying on ad revenue that may pile up slowly over the course of the video being viewed. But now you're getting, now people are, you know, able to just toss money right at you. And, uh, you know, you can, you, you know, somebody with a lot of subs like Dan Bell can do quite well. Ban Bell can do quite well. A GB Moves writes, how could anyone not like Camo Dave? I'd love to go to Crotchy's Catfish Cafe with you and Barb. <laughs> That's right. We'll see. We shall see. Trailer Park Supervisor, do more stories about hobo tech. All right. People have joked that several YouTubers are my sons. You know, hobo tech does kind of look like a younger me with that beard. <laughs> I do like hobo tech a lot. Um, he's not doing a super duper lot of traveling lately, but he does like to talk about like upgrades and especially electronic stuff and Wi-Fi and internet on the road and generators and solar panels and stuff like that. And I do enjoy his channel, but to be honest with you, there's not a heck, well, other than the girlfriend drama, who's he seeing now? There's a little bit of drama in his channel there, but uh, I don't know, I like his channel and you know, where I see some drama, I will report it. I was just asking kind of facetiously if they have Fox News up there in Canada. Jeffrey Nomadic writes, of course we have Fox News here in Canada. We watch all the American stations and some Canadians forget they're Americans. Wait, some Canadians forget they are Americans. All right, that's what he wrote. I think he meant some Canadians forget they're Canadians, right? I don't know. Uh, why do you think we have exported so many Canadians to your movie and comedy industry? That's right, William Shatner, Jim Carrey, the list just goes on and on, <laughs> and on and on. 
I don't know, man. John Candy. And finally, Harold Hickman writes, I used to come home from work and the first thing I'd wonder is, where's Adam the Woo? Now coming home after 14 hours in work and watching a grown man and his friends hanging out at Disneyland uh, after this last Facebook post from Adam, I've officially given up and lost interest. You know, again, um, I call it being a slave to YouTube. Um, you need a certain amount of your own integrity in your channel. There are ways to maximize the amount of money you make on YouTube. And well, you have to play to the bots and you have to get them to circulate your videos. And one way to do that, as many uh, experts say, is to create videos that are just, um, you know, um, just a certain topic over and over again. Don't, don't go away from that topic. If you're a Disney vlogger, you know, don't go out of Disney. If you, you know, don't mix it up. And even Adam, which his channel is pretty much the same. It's, he doesn't go all over the place in his channel in terms of topics. I mean, he's always either exploring some cool thing or hanging around California or, you know, or doing Disney, riding the rides or do, reporting the back, the back, you know, what's going on in terms of fixing Disney up and changing things. His channel doesn't vary that much, but he even, he said in his Facebook post the other day that just that alone is causing his channel problems in terms of maximizing his income. And now that he's focusing on Disney, pretty much Disney, 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 behind the scenes at Disney, Disney parks, he's focused to the point now where he's now noticing a big uptick in, an uptick in his viewership and his watched hours and other things, and he's making more money. He said that, I'm just saying it. So, you know, if you, you know, and I guess he needs the money. You know, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, anyway, that's what he said. He said he's still going to be doing some of the other stuff. But, you know, he moved, He's he lives now in Southern California. Then the reason he's not leaving Southern California, he said he's selling his, he's getting rid of his uh, Hollywood apartment. And he's just moving a county away to Orange County so that he can be even closer to Disneyland. That's right. Where am I? Ooh. All right, folks, that ought to do it for today. Letters, letters, letters for the 25th of July. <sighs> wow, I'm just uh, kind of wandering around a park over here just outside of Athens, Georgia on a beautiful Thursday. I mean, it is gorgeous today. But I, I don't think the temperature's out of the 80s today. It's just really nice. All right, folks, thanks for watching. You all have a great day. Vlog. It's high noon in the classic city. Time for your lunchtime flashback song of the day. We're going back to 1987 on this Friday. Here's I Get Weak from Belinda Carlisle. Today's lunchtime flashback song of the day. Hey everybody, it's Cabo Dave. Right, Mark Fun Jones here. Oh, I'm quitting it. Oh my God, the, the cops, the cops. I'm doing this, I do mess around my camera and the cops go by. Oh my God, oh no. Oh no, it's not good. Well, they didn't see me. Woohoo! <laughs> Mark, it's Mark Fun Jones here. Uh, I'm quitting. I'm quitting YouTube. I'm quitting. Uh, I'm quitting. Uh, my momentum is quitting. I'm not quitting YouTube. No way. Uh, you know, I, I have my record. I put six videos out a day, and I do that every day. So times six. That's like three thousand a, a year. That's right. I got an award from YouTube for putting three thousand videos out a year. That's right. I'm uh, prolific. Uh, they only get watched by an average of uh, six or seven people, but uh, that's what I do. Let's see, I gotta get it that way, yeah. That's right. I had to get the camera down into the, uh, behind the uh, wheel here. 6,000 views. Six, wait, 6,000 videos a year, with each with an average of six views. That's, that's right, that's right. Subs don't matter, it's, it's views don't matter. It's just the, nu the sheer number of videos you upload. That's all that matters. Okay? You get it? That's right. And the best puppet is Jack. That's right. Jack. 
<laughs> Jack. Oh, man. Anyway, uh, all right. Uh, that's right. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, this, is a, this has been a Jones production. <laughs>